Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you might be watching this. Today I'm going to make for me and Ernie a hamburger soup. Now it's not going to be a traditional hamburger soup, but it's still going to be a hamburger soup. So here's what I'm using as far as uh, these veggies go. I'm going to use some of these carrots. Not all of them, just some. I'm going to use some of these frozen green beans. I'm going to use half of this package of ground chuck. I'm going to use this ear of corn. I'm going to use this whole potato. I'm going to use a few flowerets off of this broccoli. I'm going to use this whole yellow squash. I have one stalk of celery. I have two mushrooms. I'm going to use this Clamato drink. I'm going to use some onions. And, oh yeah, my dried ingredients now. I'm going to use some, maybe about a fourth of a cup of these uh, uh, dehydrated. These are my dehydrated black eyed peas. I'm going to use maybe about a fourth of a cup of my dehydrated English peas, English green peas. I'm going to use about a fourth of a cup of my dehydrated uh, garbanzo beans or uh, oh, what's that, chickpeas. I'm going to use about a fourth of a cup of these dried split yellow peas. And I'm going to use about a fourth of a cup of this uh, dried split orange, uh, no, these, excuse me, these are lentils, these are lentils, these are not peas, these orange lentils. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just make a, kind of a hodgepodge soup, but it's going to have, of course, it's going to have the uh, hamburger as the base, as the meat. So, let me get all this measured out, chopped up, and cleaned, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to ground this Chuck here. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, no, we're gonna cook it. <laughs> so let me get that started and we'll see what's happening. Now I want you to notice something here. I've got my meat divided. This was one pound of ground chuck. And I went ahead and cooked it all up, but I'm gonna put half of it in this bowl because I'm only gonna use half of it in the soup. Also, I'm going to add garlic and I'm going to add pepper and I'm going to add some of this uh, beef bouillon. So that's why I don't have the salt out because I'm going to wait and see how that beef bouillon does before I add the salt. So let me get this meat out of here and we'll do our next step. Okay, now if you notice I've got some real fun going on down there. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to turn off the gas. And here's all my veggies. Everything. I got everything all ready to go. Let me clean out these two bowls and uh, we'll go to the next step. Okay, I got all my veggies in there. Except for my uh, potato. I'm waiting for that because uh, I want it to be a little, not quite mushy. Okay, now I've got about... Oh, a half teaspoon of garlic and about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And here is my Clamato juice. This is just regular canned Clamato. So now comes the water. Okay, so I'm putting in four cups of water. And I'm going to see where that's going to get me. So let me spread this out. Now I know I'm going to have to add more because I have those dehydrated vegetables in there. But some of these uh, fresh vegetables are going to give off some liquid. So I think what I want to do is add two more cups of water. Okay, so here is my two cups of water. Give that a stir. And we're doing good. Now, 
that makes six cups of water. So I have six bouillon cubes here. And I'm going to add those six bouillon cubes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to a full rolling boil. So we've got a full rolling boil here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the heat. For Just because I'm filming, I'm going to turn off the heat. Uh, normally I would just turn the heat down. So we're going to take off the lid. Whew. That is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> okay. So now i got my stirring spoon here. So this is looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down. And I'm going to let it simmer for, oh gosh, getting y'all too close there. We're getting too personal. <laughs> I'm going to turn this down to a very low simmer, and I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then, I'm going to add my potato. So, lid back on, and I'll put it on to simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay, y'all, it's been about 10 minutes. So now, I'm going to add my potato. And I'm going to let it uh, go for about another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to check it for spices. Now, if you notice something else, I don't have any rice, which I like to put in this. I don't have any barley. And I like to put barley in here. And unfortunately, I didn't have any cabbage. And I like to put cabbage in here. So instead of putting noodles... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make these steamed dumplings. Now, this is my mama's recipe. Been using it for years. Every time I need steamed dumplings, this is the recipe I use. My daddy wrote this out for me <laughs> on the back of a calendar <laughs> many years ago. And it hangs on my refrigerator. And uh, so I'm going to make these steamed dumplings. And that's going to take the place of rice or barley or noodles. So we'll put the lid back on this and let it go for about 10 more minutes. And then we'll see where we're at. Okay, y'all. Now comes the moment of truth where we check for uh, spices. And we check to see if all the veggies are done. First, let me stir that up. Yeah, it's looking good. I've got a nice uh, amount of uh, liquid on there, and I want liquid on there, so let me get my tasting spoon. Okay, now, my potatoes aren't near done, but let me see how my spices are going. Ooh, we're getting too personal again. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I forget the lid steams up. I am going to add some salt. Some oh wait, just before I add salt, let me make sure I don't have any. You know what? I'm going to add bouillon cubes instead of salt. I'm going to add. Two more bouillon cubes. So there's my two bouillon cubes I just added. So I'm going to stir them in. And since the potatoes aren't near done, now y'all, I don't care if the potatoes turn mushy. I just prefer to have them chunky. So I am going to let this go for about 10 more minutes. And when we come back, ooh, getting personal again. <laughs> when we come back, We'll start those dumplings. Okay, here's my last chance to check for spices. So, let's get this out of the way. Stir it up real good. Oh, that looks, oh, y'all, that looks great. That looks great.
give it a good stir to make sure those um, whew, bouillon cubes have dissolved and got all mixed in. Oh my, y'all. So, let's check the potatoes first. Potatoes are good. Now let's check for spices. I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I have added some salt, some pepper, and some garlic. So now... I'm going to push this to the back burner. Get that heat off. And we are going to start on our dumplings. Okay, in this bowl here, I have one cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, uh, one half teaspoon of salt. I've got one egg there. Uh, I've got a half cup milk. And remember, y'all, I'm using that calorie countdown hood milk again. Uh, I've got two tablespoons of oil in there. And the reason it looks yellowy is because I'm using my butter flavored oil. So, I've got this all... Ready? Beat my egg up. And I will have a copy of that recipe um, at the end of the video. I'll have a, uh, a copy of it there. So I'm going to put that in. We're going to make a soft dough. So let me get this ready to put in, uh, the dumplings ready to put in the soup. Okay, now we got our soup, and it's just barely, barely simmering, and uh, see, nice and hot, because we're going to put the lid on after we put the dumplings in. Now, here's the dumplings, and you want to grab about, oh, about that much, and just dump it in on top. That much, just dump it in on top. Oh, this, this, this is nice dough here. You can see the, well, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's really, that baking soda is really going to, uh, baking powder, excuse me, it's really going to work there. So let me, there's one more. Let me go ahead and do these because it's, it's a lot better to do it two-handed. There we go. So um, I got, what, two, four, six, eight, nine dumplings out of that. Uh, how big you make your dumplings is depending on how how many dumplings you're going to get. So now we're going to put this lid on and we'll be back in about 15 minutes. Here is the fruit of all our hard work. Turn off the heat. Take off the lid. Oh my, looky there. Now, when my mama made these when I was a kid, she'd have a big old dome bowl over the top of the stew or the soup, and she would put them on a plate or into the bowl, and then what you did was you got you some soup and you got you some dumplings, or some stew and some dumplings, whatever the case was. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool off so Ernie can do his official taste test. So Ernie's going to do his official taste test. Okay, now get some of the soup. You got some dumpling. Get some of the soup. Okay, now, don't say nice or, and don't mumble. What do you think? Good. 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 Okay. So, y'all, when my mama made this when I was a kid, 
when she'd make these dumplings, boy, that that pot would just be domed over those dumplings would be so big. Uh, my soup was uh, running a little hot, so it uh, they didn't de inflate as much as they should have. But uh, keep that in mind when you're making your dumplings. But there you go. Ernie, go ahead and take another taste. Ooh, that does look good. So there you go, y'all. Hamburger soup, not traditional, with steamed dumplings. Thanks for watching.